this one. I jump out of my window, and then I go down underground, and I shoot back up. So, uh, I, I fancied myself as a waterside park um, inventor and uh, planner, and then I got into music. <laughs> yes? Ask them simultaneously, let's see how it goes. <laughs> you can go first. No, no. Oh. Yes, okay, no, no, you go first. Uh-huh. That I what? Oh no. Was it my phone number? <laughs> what was this? Two days ago? Wow. Uh, I don't know. I I it was I didn't I definitely didn't Twitter my phone number. <laughs> But I do have a Coconut Records Twitter that I, I do with my, my wife, but it's not a, but, I, but I, d I didn't Twitter my phone number, but yes, there was a Coconut. But I don't, but I want to, I want to know how to get better at it because I'm not very good at Twitter and Facebook and, uh, but I would like to get better. It's, it really is an, an incredible thing. And so, uh, I'll, I'll get, I will get better at it. I promise. Uh, what was it like working with Wes and Bill, like on a completely different kind of movie? Like Rushmore was amazing. Is Uh, what the what was the, you mean the what was the working dynamic like? Yeah, like what was it like? Just was it any different? Than uh, yeah, well, I think that it's 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 very different and very much the same at the same time. I know it's a bizarre idea, but see, I use the weird words. Uh, but uh, no, it was um, you know, on Rushmore, I was just had just turned seventeen years old. I had never acted before in my life, and um, I was very scared, and um, I was just trying to just not be bad and ruin this movie, and I was working with Bill Murray, who was my idol growing up, and uh, someone who I loved, and all of a sudden, you know, I was just about to enter my senior year in high school, and I was making a record with my band, and then all of a sudden, in like the course of three weeks, I'm with, you know, someone I never thought I would meet in a million years, and, and not only that, but I'm in the, I'm working with him in the genre, in the field that he is the, an expert in, Now it was very intense. For me and, and and Bill and Wes really were so loving to me and really got me through that. But yeah, it was different because I didn't know those those gentlemen. Now, uh, I, after Rushmore, uh, Wes became my best friend, and uh, I and I we we lived together. We were roommates. After that, um, we wrote a movie together. Um, we've gone on to make uh, other movies together. So um, it's a there's a much like a much you know more history there now. There was no history before. Um, and now there's a very deep history, ones that like best friends would have. And it's really nice because um, uh, one of the hardest things I find about acting is that it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, sometimes if you're about to, you, you know, like uh, you don't want to be bad, I guess, in front of people. And I guess for me, you know, I, I, like if you have any part of you that was felt like an outsider in high school or like, just didn't feel like you fit in really, which is what my life was like then, uh, you still have this thing where you don't, like, you don't want to call attention to be, you know what I mean, you just want to be good and not, and so, um, it's very nerve-wracking when you go to say lines for the first time, because like, oh, what if I say them wrong, and people are like, wait, why do we hire this guy, you know what I mean, it's a very <laughs> embarrassing, because you, 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 there's so many highs and lows acting on a set, and um, it's, now, but I feel like I've gotten all that out of the way with Wex, and he's seen me, at, you know, be really, really bad, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and personally too, if he's seen me sad or happy, whatever, he's just been with me for my whole life basically, or 17 to now. And um, so it makes it that much, like, uh, it makes it an incredible working experience because we've gotten so many of the embarrassing parts out of the way, but it also makes it a harder working experience because you have no excuse not to, to try everything. You know what I mean? So it's, that's how it, it, the dynamic is, it kind of, it just gets deeper. I suppose, and more, more emotional in a good way. Is that all right? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes? Besides the fact that Fantastic Fix and Fox is opening next week in the select theater near yes. you, um, <laughs> Roald Dahl and Willy Wonka? Yes. Johnny Depp or Gene Wilder? Oh, God, that's an impossible. <laughs> I, I, I say that they're both incredible, and they both, I love, I, see, I love um, anyone who makes things 
uh, for a living. And, and what I love about making things is how everyone can make, it's not like a race where uh, this person beats this person by three seconds, and that's a fact. What I like about movies and art and music is that there's such a variety of things, and every one of them is right in their own, you know what I mean, to someone. And, uh, and, and that two people could interpret something so differently. I love that, you know what I mean? I love that uh, Gene Wilder, he had his version of Willy Wonka, and now Johnny Depp, who is an incredible actor too, has his version. I think it's so great to see all, I wish they just made lots of Willy Wonkas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just try it, because I think it's, I love to see, I, that's what I love, that's why I love covers of, of songs, uh, because I like to see how people interpret other people's music, it's interesting. So yeah, I think both are great. And both have such, yeah, and I saw them at different times in my life too, so they, they, that has something to do with it. Awesome, yes. thank you. <laughs> Did you change your tie? It's really uh, cute. I got it um, backstage in the folk section. These are Fox, uh, 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 the, uh, not the animal, but the company uh, who's putting out this movie, 20th Century Fox, made these. And it's made out of uh, all non-real, uh, non, non, not real Fox. I said, fantastic, Mr. Fox. And yeah, that's where I got it back there. They're they're out. Is that what you're saying? Okay. See, interesting. That's what you were really saying. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't at all, no. No, I, I didn't participate in any way in the editing. And it's incredible the way, the way they make these stop motion movies. The whole movie is mapped out on these walls. Um, you know, a great day in, in stop motion, like a very productive day, they really can only get three or four seconds done. And on a movie where there's one or two units, which is the main crew shooting the movie, there'll be one or two units shooting. And uh, on an animated movie, there's 30 units or something going at one time. And you know, one guy's job is just to, do, to take a picture of this book and then move it like that, take a picture, and then they do that for, some, some scenes took up, up, up to three or four weeks, even more. And one person just animating a scene. Um, this movie is full of like Wes's, you know, Wes has a very um, uh, signature kind of shooting style. And he didn't change any of that for the genre of animation. He has very long takes that are in this movie, which can take like eight weeks to animate. It's very hard, and one person does it all. Uh, you know, one person will be assigned the scene, so it's very amazing. And they'll have it broken down to the vowel. You know what I mean? Like on a piece of paper, they have every storyboard, they have little drawings. Um, two and a half years? Yeah. Yes, uh, can, Okay, great. Yes. <laughs> Ask me. I'll answer any question. What's my favorite part of the movie? That's a great question. My favorite part of the movie, I'm glad you asked me that question. I was hoping someone would ask me that question. Thank you. The best, uh, my favorite scene in the movie, let me think. Hmm. Let me think. <laughs> Let me th There's a scene in the movie that I really love where all the foxes and all the animals have to dig really, really far into the ground because the farmers are trying to get them. So they dig, 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 dig really deep. And you can see it in the movie. You can see how all the foxes dig. And it's really beautiful and amazing. And they go up and down and up these crazy ways. And they make these little roads underground. And you see how foxes live. And that's my favorite scene in the movie. It's really fun. <laughs> One more question. Jeez Louise. It's going to be really good. But the thing, too, is while we're signing stuff, you guys want to ask me if, they're quick, if it's a quick question. If it's a yes or no, I can do it there. Well, who's got the best question? <laughs> Yes, sir? <laughs> that's a great question. Uh, that's a great question. So, so can you ask me that again, sir? Sort of? like, what, what are you thinking? What do you want to know? Yeah. Well, are you excited? Are you excited to see the movie? What What are What are you excited about about this movie? What do you want to see? Yeah, I don't know either. I don't either. I think you're really gonna like it though. It's really fun. It's, you know what's really good about it too? 
It's really funny. The writing, like the, the, the things the foxes say are so funny. But you know what is amazing is um, just, I love all the little, there's like little rats and little mice that talk and they're so cute. They're so cute. And there's a badger who plays piano and, and a mole and all kinds of creatures. And you get to see how creatures live underground. It's really fun. You're going to like it. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you like it. I hope you never forget this day. <laughs> it's fun, right? Are you having fun? Do you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go sign some stuff, but um, I'll see you guys uh, in about 38 seconds. Okay, great. Let's give another really big round of applause for Jason Schwartz.